Okay, so this is my house. This is where I'm currently living at. It's not my house. This is where I'm currently living at. And uh, I did do a video celebrating, uh, well, not celebrating, just saying that I've been here for a year. It wasn't really a celebration, but I'll get into that later. I did do a video, and I kind of explained the situation of what was going on here. But due to the fact that I probably said things I shouldn't have said, I decided not to put it up. Um, so, it's actually been a month, and it's been, um... You just got a text message. It's been uh, about a year, it's been a, a year and a month, shy of 25, 50, 10 days. Um, my anniversary was uh, April 25th, 2014, which was a one year anniversary. I moved in April 25th, 2013, obviously. And uh, obviously you see it's May 15th, and you can see it's raining now. And the purpose of this video, um, which you will find out later, this is part one of part two, um, is, well, I'm not going to say it because it's a surprise. But I decided to give, I'm going to do my best to give a tour of uh, my place and where I currently am. And I'm not going to do any commentary inside while I'm taking the tour. Hopefully no one will be in there making noise or any of that, any distractions so I can actually videotape. Um, I'm going to give a little tour of the house. Um, and then afterwards I will show you uh, what is what. And uh, later on... Um, just in words on the video, I will explain the situation. And um, maybe you'll be able to hear some explanation. You'll maybe some explanation of why I need to do what I plan to do um, will um, serve its on its own without actually having to me tell you. So we're going to go inside now. This is the hallway. I know I said I wouldn't give a tour, but I can't even mind. Um, this is the hallway. That's Tails. Anybody that's seen my video knows Tails. Um, that's my housemate Rich's room. He's uh, pretty cool. He's the one that got me in here to begin with. And that's Randy's room. That's the bathroom. I will show you the bathroom. As you can see, it has my wolf um, shower curtain. It's just the bathroom. No big deal. Um, this is my fridge. It has a lock on it. I'll explain later why the lock is there. Uh, this is uh, one of the microwave, one of the two microwaves. This is for the, the, the housemates that live here. Um, that's another fridge that belongs to another housemate of mine. Uh, two housemates of mine. Again, I'll explain later. Um, that's another room that my landlord built. And uh, another housemate lives there. Uh, Shadow, Shadow, come on. You want to come in? All right, I guess Shadow just wants to stay out there. Silly cat. Um, this is the kitchen. That's a little pantry. Uh, um, this is my landlord's fridge. Again, I'll explain why there are locks on the door later. That's the stove. And that's the other microwave that the landlord is only allowed to use. Um, so, and then this is my room. And the weird thing about my room is, is it has no roof, no ceiling, no closing. And this is one of the big parts of the problem that I have. Because when it's not bad now, but before my landlord put up all those up there. The light would shine directly into my room. It would shine over there and directly where I sleep. Um, yeah, my room's a mess. This is my room. It's not, you know, I mean, it's good for what I pay. And like I said, later on, I'll, um, I'll tell you how much I pay for rent. It's a mess right now. That's my fault. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that it was someone else's fault. Um, anyone who's seen my videos actually has seen uh, seen, seen the cross and uh, the picture that my friend Betty gave me. But uh, um, oh yeah, that's my landlord's room down here, right there. This is the laundry room right here. I mean. 
in there is where two of my other housemates stay. And basically the situation is anybody that comes out into the kitchen and talks, no matter how well they talk, I can hear them. And one of my housemates tends to talk very loud. I don't know if it's intentional or accident or what, but he talks very loud. He likes to curse a lot, and he likes to yell a lot. And he also is, um, likes to drink a lot. And again, without saying anything negative about him, because, um, I just don't think I'm not going to be doing that. Um, it's really hard for me when I hear the way he talks and he yells and he says certain things to his girlfriend. Um, because I don't like anybody physically or mentally or emotionally abusing a woman. I don't like anybody doing it, a guy or a girl, putting down someone else. It bothers that kind of me. It's just how I've always been, even before I was saved by Jesus. And, uh, um, just some of the things he goes on about are, I'm going to say, use the word silly. Um, there's been incidents where he'll, uh, he has a inside, uh, he has an outdoor cat, you saw her, her name is Shadow. Um, some of the things when he gets, um, when he drinks too much, uh, some of the things he says to the cat doesn't make sense to me. Um, he'll call the cat inside, and when the cat doesn't want to come inside, he'll get mad and start calling her name. Um, he'll start calling her a female dog, not a female dog, but a word that equals female dog, the B word. Um, there's been a uh, situation a couple of days ago where I guess she spilled the cat food and he was confused on why. He kept, you know, saying, why did you spill the cat food? Why did you spill the cat food? Again, I'm not being negative, all right? I'm just explaining some of the things he said. Um, this morning, um, he wanted his girlfriend to cook him eggs. Uh, she was cooking eggs and he came in and he, he uh, um, uh, what's the word? He said to her that he was he was doing it wrong. And she said back, well, if I'm doing it wrong, then why don't you do it yourself? And he told her to F off and started ranting and raving about how much of a female dog she was and other words. Um, and the thing is, is not only can I hear it when they're out in the kitchen arguing and fighting, but I can also hear it when they're in their room because of that vent. That vent goes, I can hear everything. So, to wrap this up, because this is way longer than I expected, and you probably really don't want to look at my, uh, my, uh, desk anymore that's dirty. Um, I got an opportunity to move out. Now, the thing is, is everybody else in this house is, is pretty cool. I get along pretty good. I get pretty long with Randy. Um, anybody that, uh, uh, Randy, um, got saved, uh, um, on one of the Easter services on Saturday, which is awesome. Um, unfortunately, due to his job at Golden Corral and, uh, working Sundays, he's not able to attend. Um, there are ways around that, but he chooses not to go around that, so I left him alone. Um, I can only do so much. I mean, I'm proud that he got saved, but if he doesn't want to take it any further than what he did, then I can't. You know, I gotta respect that. Um, everybody else is nice to me. Everybody else is kind to me. Um, I don't have a problem with anybody else. The main issue is the housemate that gets drunk and says vulgar things to his girlfriend. And even there have been times where his girlfriend and me have gotten into it because um, she thinks that when her and other people are talking, I am overhearing. Even though they're talking loud, because I can hear it, because, you know, I can hear everything that goes on there. Um, so, that, that's basically it. And this video is going to 10 minutes, so you can see my situation. No roof, no, no ceiling. Um, rent is good. Rent is only $250, and it includes everything. Um, like I said, later, I'll type up on why there are locks on the fridge. But that's it. This has been a 10-minute video. 
this video is probably going to go only out to certain people. I'm not going to, like, have, if you're watching this, it's only because I want you to know my situation, what's going on. But I'm not going to put me this public on YouTube. Anyways, um, this is part one of my big surprise. Yes, I got another big surprise a month and ten days before my anniversary. I think you already know. Most of you probably will know. Those that are watching this will already know because by the time that, um, you'll probably see part two right after this video. So anyways, I'm going to shut it down. I might turn it back on if there's some activity. But basically what's going on is I'm giving it a couple of days to decide if I need to do what I think is the best for me. I'm letting God put it on my heart. And by letting God put it on my heart, I'm going to see how the next couple of days go. It was a rough morning. Uh, 8.30 at night, and there was already yelling and screaming. And uh, he went to the store at 9 o'clock in the morning, got a pack of beer. So he wasn't even drinking when uh, he commented about the eggs. So maybe I'll turn it on when they're doing their thing. I don't know. So till now, God bless. Till later. And bye for now.